Babies can get this infection during childbirth and their eyes is commonly infected. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about gonorrhea, the symptoms, the causes, the complication and everything you need to know about gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted infection caused by a bacteria known as Neisseria gonorrhea. This can infect the urethra, the rectum, the vagina, the penis, the throat, the mouth and also the height. It can spread during vagina, oral sex or anal sex. The symptoms. Gonorrhea does not really give large symptoms just like syphilis but when it does there are some parts it's going to affect in men we have symptoms like painful urination rectal bleeding or discharge just like discharge from the head of the penis and discharge may be yellow um white or green in color pain or swelling in one testicle that i have a video about how to examine your testicles to ensure you are infection free i'm going to leave the link right here so make sure you watch it when you're done watching this video also discoloration or swelling in the opening of the penis rectal bleeding or discharge pain when having bowel movement eating and soreness in your anus that is for the men and for women you have vagina discharge you have itching and soreness in your vagina or vulva frequent or urinate pain while urinating sharp pain in your abdomen or pelvic region bleeding during sexual intercourse heavier period or spotting during period other symptoms which can happen to both gender is persistent sore throat inflammation of the throat redness of the eyes swelling in the leaf load in your leg fever and discharge in your eyes. Now complication. Untreated gonorrhea can lead to various complications. In women, it can lead to infertility because when this bacteria travels into the allopian tubes, your uterus, ovaries and cause PID, it can cause the scaring of your tubes and can lead to ectopic pregnancy or inability to get pregnant. Infertility in men. Gonorrhea can cause inflammation of the epididymis i talked about epididymis when i mentioned how to check your testicles by yourself i'm going to leave the link right here if i can still do so when the tubes that transport sperm from your body is inflamed it can cause infertility it increases the risk of hiv and AIDS. so when you are a carrier of gonorrhea bacteria you are susceptible to virus of HIV and also AIDS. That is, you know, your immune system will have been compromised and this can make you to be at high risk of getting HIV and AIDS. Infection of the joint and other area. The bacteria spread through the bloodstream and affect different types of organs, which involves the joint, the throat, the mouth and the eyes. Complication in babies. Babies who get gonorrhea can develop blindness and sore on the scalp or infections. Prevention. Use condom whenever you have to have sexual intercourse with someone you're not sure about. Be sure your partner is sexually transmitted infection free. Make sure you get tested if you're not sure of your partner. So as to commence treatment if there is any um traces of gonorrhea. Limit the number of your sexual partners. Do not have sexual intercourse if you've been diagnosed. Now the test. So how to know if you have gonorrhea is just for you to carry out a test. All these things I've mentioned earlier like the symptoms might not actually be symptoms of gonorrhea but when you get to the lab your blood, urine or fluid might be tested. Now the solution. The solution is drugs and antibiotics. That's what can fight against the bacteria in your bloodstream. That's all about this video. I hope it was helpful. Please get in touch with all my previous videos. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Like this video, comment, share to family and friends. And please subscribe to my channel. See you in my next one. Bye.